Hey everyone, it's Donna. Good morning. Grab your tea, your coffee, whatever you like to drink and sit down with me. And let's have a chat. Um, I spent <laughs> all morning putting something together and then decided not to do it because it was a little gory. Um, uh, <laughs> I wanted to tell you about this guy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna briefly, he's my ancestor. His name was Half King Tanagrisson, and he worked with a, a young 22-year-old general, uh, not general, he was a captain then, George Washington. Um, they fought against the French, <clears throat> and uh, he was instrumental in, with George Washington in starting the French and Indian War. If you get curious, you can look it up. Half King Tanagrisson. Um, there's, a, there's a story behind this, but they, those two... They got the war going. So anyway, I decided not to do it because there's some gory parts in it about um, his father, um, about himself, about just the, the the horrible things they had to endure back in those days. Um, and I decided I'm going to rest on this a little bit. Mm. He was my ninth great grandfather. Um, and if you need to know how to spell his name, he's worth looking up if you're bored and you like history. Let me find a piece of paper. This no, that's not it. Here's his burial spot. That's where they, his uh, he's buried. Um, but he was a uh, a really cool guy and. He and George Washington were friends. So, Tana Grissom, well, darn it, I had a thing that showed his name really well. Here we go. And if you want to learn more about him, you can go and you can type in his name right there. Okay, what's that say? Tana Grissom. Sometimes they, they pronounced it with a G, but, but anyway. Enough of that. So I decided against it, and I thought, you know, it's Friday. I haven't put out a video. I've had a lot of stuff going on, and I wanted a break. And you can see my paparazzi back there. And by the way, I wanted to say uh, uh, thank you to, I think it was Constance that ordered from me, for my paparazzi. I saw that she did that, and I, and I wanted to say thank you to her. Um, and if you guys want to order something, I think my number is 966. Uh, hang on. Let me go get it. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. I had to go get that number. My number at Paparazzi is 447-966. So if you want to order something, you can go in there. And the the uh, things that they do, they switch every day. This, this is some of their stuff. But anyway, um, back to this week. Um, it's been an interesting week, and I'm not going to go much into it, but I've been doing some traveling um, mm. um, and doing some things for my family. So other than that, everything's quiet. We are still in the midst of COVID and I have been cleaning and I clean and I clean and I clean and I clean because there's nothing else to do. I'm organizing. I have everybody's stuff just perfect in the house. It's I'm kind of liking it. I got to be honest. What are you guys doing? I'm just curious. What is everybody doing out there to keep themselves busy? Um, if you don't have a job during the day, what are you doing to occupy your time? Mm. I cook a lot. I find recipes and I've been experimenting. And I don't know. I <laughs> I may do another video on. I found a recipe on a two ingredient brownie. It takes Nutella and peanut butter. So I'm going to try that for the first time, and you guys can see the end results of what this thing looks like. I'm not promising a rose garden here, but I thought it might be kind of fun just to see what happens when I do this. So. 
Mm. Anyway, everything's quiet. I guess I'm going to sign off today. Um, I did want to show you, I got another box of paparazzi and I'll show you some of the things that just came in this box. Hang on, that'd be kind of fun. Hang on a second. Okay, snap, I'm back. All right, I just want to show you inside here. This is what I ordered. It came in yesterday. And I'm just going to pull out a couple pieces. And I, I, I'm keeping everything in the plastic due to the COVID. But this is a, a really cool little necklace. And here's another one. If you can see it better here. Isn't that cute? And it comes, each necklace comes with a uh, set of earrings. $5 bling bling, ladies. $5 bling bling. You can't beat this. Um, this is a stinking cute little red bracelet with these earrings. And I, in this bracelet, I have some red necklaces that I'm going to be selling. It's a little black cuff bracelet. And uh, this one, I got several of these. These are like a little triangle square necklace. They gave this to me free for my order. Um, the knees, a little pewter type of earrings. I opened those because I wanted to look at them. And that's about it. Everything else in there is a duplicate of what I've shown you. So that's what I've been kind of doing. Um, organizing this stuff. And I'm going to start selling it. As soon as I feel like I've got enough, I'm opening the doors. And ladies and gents, everybody around this area will be able to come and shop. And I plan on working with my granddaughter and making some money. So anyway, got a stitch fix ordered, and we will do that in about a week, <sighs> and that's about it. So you guys hang in there this week. I'm going to be a busy little girl, continue to get some stuff done for my family, um, and I still have not heard from the Daughters of the American Revolution. There was a huge delay due to Christmas and COVID and everything's being done by snail mail. And because, you know, they are afraid they're not coming into the Constitution at Hall to get to the books and things. Everything's online for these researchers. So it's making it more difficult. But hang in there. It's coming. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for right now, and you guys take it easy, and we'll see you soon. Relax, have a good day, life is good. Bye.